next on CNN in Time. Left on right. It's not your everyday summer camp. This is what Ailey Camp is about. It's about moving. It's about expression. Demi and Stan. Giving kids the right steps for life. Strong arm a little bit, yes. When CNN in Time continues. It may seem like a long way from nature walks and sack races, but the goals of the Alvin Ailey summer camp are the same as any other. The difference? These camps try to instill self-esteem and confidence through dance. The camps, which operate in Kansas City, in Chicago, in Bridgeport, and in New York, are the dream of the late Alvin Ailey, the legendary dancer and choreographer. The programs reach out to inner city kids, especially those from troubled homes. These are kids who would not ordinarily ever be exposed to the arts. But it happened for 70 youngsters this summer here in New York, where the Alley Camp is sponsored by the American Dance Theater that bears his name and by the Children's Aid Society. Begins. Make it a big quarter bra. And now the celebration begins. Smiling. I need to see your tears. Half time, you're on the wrong side of the stage, and I'm waiting for you. You should go into places. Stay, stay, stay. Stay. I wanted to have a good time. Good time. We finalize it. We run it a couple of times so you'll be secure. I want to make it to heaven. Y'all gonna know who I am, who I am, who I am, who I am. Yay! Good morning. Welcome to Ailey Camp. Ailey Camp is a six week program. You alright? Okay for children aged 11 to 14. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Using dance as a way to help them to develop their lives, to learn discipline, focus, concentration. We're gonna grow, we're gonna struggle, we're gonna create a dream. The first day is really about understanding why you're here and what can happen if you are open to letting it happen. Ingrid Garcia. I was really excited because I already wanted to meet some new friends. I already know the dances, what type of dances we're going to get. Nelson. Where is Nelson? Taveras, OK. Me, I was nervous because I was like one of the only boys here. One, two. These are New York City children. These are kids who live in Harlem and in Washington Heights and in the Barrio in East Harlem. How's that feel? Funny. Funny? Have you, is this the first time you wore ballet slippers? It is. We provide the campers with their clothing. They should write their name on the bottom of both slippers. Two t-shirts, leotards, tight slippers, a dance bag. Again, left, right. Not only do we have top flight dance instructors. On what? How we doing? But we also have counselors that go with them. Left, out, out, now turn. You want them dancing right away. I don't hear you. This is what Ailey Camp is about. It's about moving. It's about expression. Everybody come back to center. This year, the dance classes we are having at the camp in New York are Afro-Brazilian. Half point. Ballet. Full point. Modern and jazz. I'm looking for my big arms dancers. I'm looking for the faces. Thank you. Left jazz right. is like, right. like a modern Left swing right. dance. Very nice. It's Very a way of expressing yourself in a fast motion. Oh, and, and keep turning the same way. No, no, no. Keep the hardest thing is learning your steps because. This way. Yes. You don't know what's coming next, and if it's a hard step, it takes time to learn it. One, two, let's slow this down. Five, six. Nelson's almost like an old man in a young boy's body. He has an incredible amount of wisdom for somebody his age and an amazing sense of humor. The first day of Ailey Camp, and he realized he was the only boy in his group. And I asked him, well, Nelson, are you okay? 
you know, you're the only boy in the group. How do you feel about that? And he said, when I leave this camp, I'm going to have a lot of phone numbers. <laughs> I live in the Bronx near Yonkers. A lot of bad things happen, but on a regular daily basis, you get to go outside, you get to play with your friends with not, nothing to worry about because, like, everybody knows everybody. They got a lot of kids in here. Drugs and whatnot, people are getting shot and whatnot. Children have been exposed uh, to such awful things. It is not unusual at all for them to have witnessed terrible violence, sometimes on their block, sometimes in their buildings, and unfortunately, sometimes in their own apartments. This is the living room. The bullet flew through here and went up there, but we can't find the bullet. There was like a shooting on my block and a friend of mine got shot in his shoulder and a bullet flew through my window and there's a big hole in my ceiling. The police came. They didn't find the bullet. They said it'd be somewhere in this house, but they don't know where. Excuse me, it's too much noise here. I can't know, I cannot even listen to him. 11 to 14 is a very difficult time in the development of these children. I don't hear anything but him. It's too much. Line number one now? Yes? <laughs> It's a time where they're trying to stand up and be who they are. So we don't need to look at our foot to see it move, right? Good. But they're not sure who they are. When you think about conflict, what are some other synonyms that you think about? The personal development classes are there to assist the campers in dealing with those issues that they're faced with right now. Yes, it's a different proportion because you are a different artist. The creative communication classes allow the campers to express themselves. Silence will do wonders for concentration. They do an activity with the sticks, the balancing of the sticks on the tip of the fingers. Again, it's for concentration, focus and concentration. Look at the top. Here we are, standing left arm at the bar, first position. There's a definite progression that occurs. Left arm is at the bar. During the six weeks. Left arm is at the bar. There are some. Joshua? That start out in the camp. Head down. And they just cannot follow a direction. Head over. They try, they just can't do it. Head down, head down, head down. They can't even hear it. Head down, head. Head down. Head down. Stretch back. Look right and left. Now. You don't focus, you can't do the right stuff. You do wrong things. Reach the other hand off the bar. You look to the right and left. You mess up and then you're like, man, I messed up, I can't do this. But if you focus, you stay there. You stay there and so you get it and you, and you learn it. Ingrid Garcia is a very intelligent and determined young lady. She understands what it takes to become a dancer. Um, she understands you have to rehearse, not just during rehearsal, but you know, she told me that she rehearses at home. I want to be a dancer, like Alvin Haley. We bring the children to the Ailey School to watch the company rehearse. One reason is that we've been pushing them and pushing them in their dance classes. So we bring them here to actually then let them see the reality. Well, here they are. Do you dance? I try not to now. I danced for about 50 years, so I think that was enough. <laughs> also, they're so excited that they're actually going to meet Judith Jamison, and maybe they can take a picture with her. I hope you smile. Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> The first piece I ever saw the company do was at Ailey Camp. I can just remember my mouth going like this. And I was just in shock. One and a two, three and a four. William Brown came to Ailey Camp four years ago. That's it. I grew up in Soundview area of Bronx. Basically, you would call it the projects. I look at the kids who are there now, and I see out of all of us, it's about 
five of us that are graduating high school. You know, or most of them are not graduating. They're still outside doing bad things. And I wonder if I didn't have, if I, if I didn't know about Ailey Camp or something, would, would, I, would that be me? It turned my whole life around because it, it opened doors for a lot of things. Since then, I've been to about four or five different dance schools. I've made a lot of different friends from all over. I got out of that like project like area, you know. Walking slowly, walking. Excuse me. The performance at the end, uh, it becomes a week of jitters. Our guys are so beautiful. You made me have tears. So beautiful. Man, everyone come back to parallel second. I was reading a book one time about metaphors, and I read this thing that said, like, when you're on stage and you're nervous, just picture everybody naked. And I start to laugh in my head. So I just go on with the show. Ladies, are you in your costumes? Let's put Shemeika in because she's a, she's, Shemeika, where'd you go? Is it tight? Is it secure? Yes. All right. Who got bobby pins? I don't need bobby pins. I'm a professional. This evening, we have the result of all the hard work that you've done. So tonight when you go out there on the stage, this is the time for you to really show how special and how beautiful each and every one of you are. The auditorium for the end of camp performance is packed. You get on the stage, you may believe there's nobody there. You just look straight ahead because you gotta focus on your dance, not on the people. It's just the rush. Having all the people watching you, having fun while doing something while you're nervous. It's just fun. What we hope is that it doesn't all go out the window once they say goodbye to us at the end of the camp, but that they will carry the discipline, the self-esteem, all this new information that they have into their school year and, and into their everyday lives. Wonderful. You happy? The Ailey Camp here in New York will celebrate its 10th anniversary next summer. There are also plans next year to open an Ailey-inspired dance program in Boston. That's this edition of CNN in Time. I'm Jeff Greenfield. Bernie, have a good night. Thanks, Jeff. Before we go tonight, a reminder. On Wednesday, be sure to watch CNN and Fortune. This week, the woman who's giving Avon a makeover. Can Andrea Jung brighten the future of this faded cosmetic giant? The story on CNN and Fortune. I'm Bernard Shaw, and for everyone at CNN, good night. Visit us at CNN.com slash CNN Time and Time.com. Closed captioning is brought to you by Bell Atlantic, your guide through the wiles of communications.